Hello everyone, I am Ghulam Abbas. I hope you guys are fine and doing great. In this video, I am going to show you how you can install Android in Windows 11. Or basically, you can call it how to run the Android in Windows 11. So basically, last time, if you have watched this video, how to install Android 12 on PC, then you find out that basically at least 10 GB of storage is required to install it and then besides uh, a very fast internet connection is also required to download the files regarding to run the android itself uh, in windows 11 and besides uh, the android studio was using a lot of resources in the windows 11 so i figured that i have to find another met another method to run android in windows 11 although it is not android 12 but you can basically it has everything the play store which many developers are looking to it to test their applications in the desktop environment so they can test it out without any issue so before getting too hung up on the everything and details let's just go ahead and start everything uh, just go ahead the very first thing is that you have to download the virtual box itself just simply search virtualbox.org and then uh, download the virtual box based on the operating system that you are using whether you are using mac os or linux solaris or any other type of operating system just download the virtual box based on the operating system that you are using so just i'm using the windows so click on the windows i'm going to going to click on the windows source and then save and it is going to download uh, i'm going to cancel the download here because i have already downloaded and besides virtual box is already installed on this pc and the second thing is that we have to download the Android ISO since we are performing a clean installation in the VM. So open Google uh, and then after that one you have to simply search for Android 9 uh, ISO or SDN. Yeah, uh, simply search for this. You can see that uh, it is OSDN is basically a very trustworthy website that you can download the android from there uh, so here you can see that if i have to click on it and it's going to open a new page and besides if you scroll down you will see that uh, these many editions are available for the android 9 if you are thinking to test android 10 or maybe 11 uh, unfortunately they are not available you can only test them inside the android studio so uh, here you can see that the x86 version is basically the 32 bit and the x86 underscore 64 uh, it is basically the uh, android for the 64 bit operating system so you can just download the version that you are comfortable with uh, i'm going to download this one uh, or rather i said that i have already downloaded it i'm also going to cancel the download here so without wasting any of time let's begin the uh, installing android in the windows 11 so launch the virtual box okay here you can see that before this i already tested the android uh, let me just delete this one i do not need it at all uh, and besides here you can see that i have just simply test android i have just named it android 9.2 but so just click create uh, by default it will be like this uh, just click export mode because it will save a lot of time for us just simply name i'm going to name it android 9.3 uh, and i'm also going to save it in any other location uh, in the desktop 9.3 i have already created a directory for it and the type of the os you have will have to choose linux and then scroll down to the end and you have to choose other Linux, which is basically 64 bit. Now, remember if you are testing the Android 64 bit version, at least it requires 2 gigs of RAM. Uh, and if you are testing the 32 bit version, it requires at least 1 gigs of RAM. So, based on your PC's RAM, you'll have to mention the amount of RAM that you are comfortable with. I'm going to put 4 GB, but it's still 2 GB is fine, but uh, for uh, who knows who knows something may happen or not that's why i'm going to increase the amount of frame to 4 gb and also create choose this option and then click create 
uh, the location is totally fine and the amount of storage you'll have to decide it yourself I'm going to put around uh, 60 GB will be totally fine yeah and leave the rest as they are and then click create and that's done and the next thing is that we have to attach the ISO of the Android to it go to the storage uh, click on the empty icon and then click here and click choose a disk file and locate the Android uh, ISO that you downloaded a moment ago. So here is ISO, and also you have also you have to make sure that you have to check live CD or DVD. And besides, you have to go to display, increase it to the last bit. I mean 128 MB. You can also change the graphic if you want, but I'm going to change it to VB uh, box VGA. It's up to you, but it's not recommended. And there's also the processor. Uh, I recommend it to install uh, to make it true processor because during the installation uh, in some places with one processor it may stuck and you'll have to wait a lot of time and beside for the uh, interface acceleration I'm going to use the KVM I think uh, this will be okay even though you're saying that invalid settings just ignore that one and then click OK now click start and the virtual box installer for the Android is going to launch again if you are seeing this option then do not worry choose the Android from here which is 921 megabyte and then click start and hold a moment okay from here you'll have to choose advanced options and here is the fourth option auto installation it's going to install everything with a just simple uh, uh, by pressing enter on the yes option and then yes and now it's going to install so we'll have to wait a moment I think it's going to take around one up to one minute and 30 seconds the whole installation part so we'll have to wait Okay, now you can see that the Android is basically installed. We'll have to run it. So you can see that by default, it's check just uh, press enter on the keyboard and it's going to restart the uh, OS and there will be some basic configuration just like when you are buying a new phone, you'll have to set up the language, the email address and all the other stuff. So you can see that sometimes it's going to take a while, but uh, do not worry depending on your system I think yeah this part depends on your system whether it's going to come soon or uh, takes a lot of time so you have to wait again okay finally we are here so yeah everything is ready to go uh, good to go just simply click start and it's going to search for the Wi-Fi basically uh, yeah hold on a moment please okay for some reason it's taking a lot of time I'm going to click here and from here you can see that uh, here is the virtual Wi-Fi I'm going to click it and it's going to connect itself without any issue so yeah that should solve the issue of that part we'll have to wait a moment so this part really depends on the network itself i think it since it is checking for the updates and unfortunately i'm really sorry but my network connection is not really fast it is on the part between mm, and not really good Okay, that part is totally done and here is saying that copy apps and data. I'm going to choose don't copy. Okay, these are basically I think the basic configuration that anyone can do. It is going to take uh, I think around uh, two to five minutes to configure them. But again, we'll have to wait. 
okay here is that it's saying that you'll have to sign in i'm going to sign in with this email enter the password okay uh, it is saying that we'll have to agree to the terms and condition and you can see that here is the google play terms services is also available just simply choose i agree and move to the next step okay now it is saying that we'll have to uh, set the date and time uh, yeah, the date is totally fine. It is 1.31 p.m. And it's saying that you'll have to pick your files to the Google Drive. I'm saying no. And uh, there are some privacy settings. Uh, you can configure them if you want. But I'm going to basically uncheck all of them. I don't know. These days, every company is using the same trick. Basically, they are collecting our data. So, skip anyway. I'm not using anything here. More pattern, or password, nothing at all. So, because I'm only testing it inside the VM and I put Google to work for you. It's saying that the Google app can also give you personalized updates like weather, community. Yeah. If you want to configure them, just go on. But I'm saying no thanks. And just a sec. And here's again saying that you'll have to add another email and the other stuff i'm saying no thank you and it is the final uh, option and here you can see that basically uh, android is asking us to select an option if you choose quick step it will be like an android okay just click just once and let me i have to also make it the scale mode this way it will look way better cool so if you want to bring up the menus just simply uh, drag like you are doing it inside the Android phone you can just go back and see the settings and install an application from the Play Store or whatever it is up to you uh, however if you are interested in the taskboard just like the Windows you can just simply click on the home button and from there you'll have to choose taskbar and now you can see that here is the taskbar everything is available in the taskbar mode so this way i think it is looking way cooler way better compared to the all the uh, other yeah now you can just simply go and download any app store app that you want to download it from the app store or whatever so this is basically how you can install Android in Windows 11 even though it is the Android 9 but it can fulfill the job of running the third party Android apps in the Windows 11. So I hope you guys like this video do not forget to subscribe into the YouTube channel and I'll meet you guys in the next video. So have a nice day and goodbye.